Bobby's RC. So today we're going to do a flight comparison review on the Blade 230S V2 and the OMP Hobby M2. A couple months back on the channel I did a you know versus video comparison of the two on the bench explained the differences between the two which one you should get if you're looking at either one then I finally realized hey maybe I should do a flight video and you guys can see the difference in the two stabilization flight performance power performance uh, they both are flying on the radio master tx16s both helicopters have uh, normal mode is self-leveling stable mode idle up one idle up two is normal full control on both helicopters uh, both helicopters have rescue both helicopters are running everything stock exception of the 230 has carbon main blades and an aligned 300 x motor but for this video purpose, I went into my idle up one in the radio and I turned the head speed down so it would have around the same power and RPM head speed so it would be a little bit more fair comparison for a bone stock 230S. So we're going to go ahead and fly the 230S first and then we will fly the M2, flying back to back. Grass is long so I put a piece of plywood down. So we're going to go ahead and move the M2 out of the way for a minute. Uh, let me talk real quick flying on a three cell gens ace 800 milliamp pack so both helicopters are on 3s both are flying on uh, recommended batteries oh this isn't a recommended battery this is a gens ace 800 but it's a very commonly used battery in the blade 230s world stock tail motor ese servos all that good stuff so we're going to go ahead and get up i already filmed this video once um, unfortunately, I had the camera pointed down. I don't know what I was thinking. You can't see the helicopter half the flight. All you hear is me talking. I don't think you guys want to watch it. So I decided to go ahead and record it. And on the M2, ended up breaking a blade grip. And the helicopter exploded in flight, which I will put the crash at the end of this video. But unfortunately, the video was worthless. What in the world was that? Anyways, so unfortunately the video is worthless, so I decided to just grab my backup M2, which is this guy, and refilm the video, and I will still put the crash at the end of the video because that's the only thing that's really worth a crap for the whole video. So we're gonna go ahead and spool up again. We are in normal mode. So self-leveling, bank angle limits. So since the sun's over there, we're gonna fly over here. Okay, so first off the bat, tail does wag i have turned the gains down this is about the best i've been able to get it i'm gonna try swapping out another receiver for stability wise it's pretty solid tail performance stop it kind of i don't know what was that we lost the tail for a second weird okay so back to the video so anyways normal mode bank angle limits so the backwards let off it kind of drifts forward let off it kind of just keeps going so you're gonna go right let off it keeps going left let off it kind of just keeps drifting around so we have Bank angle limit still. Let off. That's about a hands off hover. It just drifts. It kind of goes with whatever way the wind's going. Tail performance wise, when we let off, it does stop. It's not a solid stop. Kind of comes back a little bit to the left when we let off. It stops instantly because we have all the power to stop it. To the right, we have to catch up. So it kind of bounces back, comes back. Now, stability-wise, the helicopter is, you know, pretty solid. Let's go ahead and kick it up into idle up one. So now this will be about the same power as a stock 230. It will do all your 3D inverted solidness. It's pretty good. It does bobble a lot. But that might just be my 230 that bobbles like this. Yours might not do this. 
but you will get all your 3D performance. All right, back in the normal mode, back under bank angle limits, under normal flying. Let's see if we can do a hands-off hover here. All right, there we go, hands off. Now, of course, you can do a calibration flight and get it even better. I've done multiple of them and that's about the best it's become so far. Flying around wise, still flies great. It's still a good beginner helicopter, uh, mainly because you know, it's bind and fly or ready to fly. You can buy this helicopter ready to fly. If you like the Blade 230S, then great. Uh, you know, it's a good helicopter. My grandfather is one that really learned how to fly on a Blade 230S. It's a fun thing, but the OMP Hobby M2 has definitely, definitely taken the market. Now we're, we're flying four minute timers on both. And then so bank angle limits back, let off, forward, let off. Oh, let's show rescue. All right, we're gonna go up about here, flip rescue. All right, so rescue does work good. Almost forgot to show rescue. Let's do about here, flip rescue. So it does save it. Let's say we're flying and we get in trouble. So it does save it. Let's see it, we're in trouble, flip rescue. All right. Yeah, rescue does work good. It recovers it from all different angles. All right, let's put it back into normal mode. Let's try to land back on our piece of plywood. fall over ah dang it anyways so the blade 230s it is a nice helicopter for its time it was a fantastic helicopter i think in today's day and age and in today's world of the omp helicopters uh it's definitely been beaten for sure it's a very old design that has been updated but me personally like especially with the smart i would like to have seen a lot more upgrades uh, you know, better mainframe for one carbon, a better ESC that can have a better tail performance. But again, it is made to be a beginner entry level helicopter. So let's go ahead and pull the canopy, unplug, and let's grab the M2 and see how it flies. Okay, let's go on our radio here. Let's go to model select. Come on, come on, hurry up, okay. OMP M2 yellow, we are flying, so let's grab the yellow one. All right, hold mode, let's set the 230 aside. Let's grab our OMP Hobby M2. In my opinion, the best micro helicopter ever made. Again, I am not sponsored, paid in any way, shape or form to say how great they are. This is just my personal opinion from the hundreds of flights that I have on either one of them. The orange one that ended up breaking a blade grip in flight, which I will post that video at the end of this, so stick around. But that helicopter had 223 flights on those blade grips. It could have been my fault. That flight, I did tighten the blade grips because if you notice, these blades are super loose. So I tightened them up a little bit, just snugged them up, and that's when the failure failed, so, or the blade grip failed. So I'm thinking I tightened them too much, probably my fault. But beside the point, we got parts coming. We will have rebuild videos. So I always do a pre-flight check, no matter what helicopter it is or how many flights I got on it. Make sure all your servos are moving. You never know when electronics are gonna go to fail. All right, OMP Hobby M2, we're in normal mode. Four minute timer. So again, normal mode, bank angle limit, so start first that's a hands-off hover super super solid a little helicopter all right let's check uh, auto level so let's bank forward let off 
instant, bank back, let off, instant, right, let off, left, let off, forward, let off, right, let off. I mean, that is, is super, comes right back, super solid little helicopter. I mean, that's another hands-off hover. Okay, let's try some regular flying. Push forward, let off, it instantly comes back. Now I'm banging sticks here, that's full forward. Full back, full forward. Full right. Sorry, I'm trying not to fly where the sun's at. All right, let's check tail stopping performance. We'll bring it a little closer to us. All right, so we're gonna Piro to the right, let off, instant stop. Piro to the left, let off, instant stop. I mean, the tail performance on this thing is incredible. Better than most tail uh, belt driven or uh, torque tube driven helicopters. They really did their homework with Tally and all incredible, incredible little helicopters. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it up into idle up one. Again, check tail performance. Right, or left Piro, stop. Right Piro, stop. Pitch pumps and Piro, let off. Perfect. Now let's do some regular flying around. Now it'll go from crazy to, from normal flying to 3D flying, soft 3D, hard 3D. So this helicopter will definitely grow with you. Kick it back into normal mode. Now it's back to a beginner friendly helicopter. The fly barless unit is super solid. rock solid performance. Let's try an inverted hover. See how solid it is. Bring it closer to us. All right, let's, that is a hands-off inverted hover. All right, while we're in idle up one, let's try rescue. All right, flip rescue. Perfect rescue rollover. Flip rescue. Flip rescue. Let's try rescue while we're flying. Say we're flying inverted. Oh, we get in trouble. Pull out, perfect. Say we're flying normal, we get in trouble. Rescue flipped. We don't know, we lost orientation. Flip rescue. Rescue works fantastic. Flip rescue. Automatically adds pitch. All right, back in the normal mode. Now we do have some wind. It's pretty much hands off hover. I mean, this thing is just incredible it's, it's it's so solid like the hell i just i can't believe how for such a small helicopter how solid and big it flies all right let's land it now all right there you go there's your two flights of uh m2 and a 230s a little comparison between the two you guys be the judge Buy any helicopter that you like. If you want a Blade 230S, buy a 230S. If you want an M2, buy an M2. If you can buy both, buy an M2 and an M1. <laughs> but really though, you guys, as long as you're flying, you buy what you want to buy. As long as you're happy, you enjoy it. Some people are going to hate the 230S. It's the biggest piece of crap ever invented. Some people hate the M2s, oh, they, especially the Explorer, the plastic blade grips are junk and blah, 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 and you gotta go metal. My other M2, the orange one that you guys see multiple videos of, 223 flights. I think that I caused the blade grip failure. It's probably my fault, but it is what it is. 
parts are coming, we repair it, we keep flying. I wanted the Explorer, I wanted the plastic for cheap to crash. I wanted something that I can beat on, something I can learn new maneuvers with, I can bash it, and when it crashed it, it's 20, 30, 40 bucks, nothing crazy. So for all the people that have had blade grip failures on the M2, make sure your blade grips aren't too tight because that's what I honestly think mine was. Sometimes the parts are just made bad and they break. You know, these things are mass produced, it happens. But if you guys don't have an M2, I'll say it again like I say in every video, go ahead and get yourself one. Incredible little helicopter. If you guys like your 230S, let me know. Tell me you like your 230S. Like I said in the beginning, my grandfather learned to fly, really fly helicopters with a Blade SR and then the 230S really took off from there. He loves his 230S, got three of them. Great helicopter. Now, the only main difference between the two that I see is like a big deciding factor is that the M2 is much well not much smaller but it is about half the size of a 230s so if you have a hard time seeing then the 230s would be a better choice i mean you're looking side by side of each other m2 is almost half the size so if you're older and you have a hard eyesight and you have a hard time seeing 230s is a better choice my grandfather could never really see the m2 but he does give it to 230s so really guys it's all up to you whatever makes you happy however you enjoy flying just get out there and fly don't listen to people what's good and what's not good it's all user choice and personal personal preference thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to go ahead and attach that video at the end of this so you guys can see the orange m2 exploding apart in the air i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions please comment down below give the video a like and subscribe it's free it helps me out tons just to subscribe and like the video i really appreciate everybody thank you guys for 352 subscribers at the point of filming this video i appreciate all the likes the comments the watches love it all man thank you guys so much hope you have a great day take care And what was that? The helicopter just ate itself. All right, well, tail boom for sure. Canopy got a little messed up. Broke a blade grit. Well, now we have to try to find the tail boom. Oh, here's tail boom. Okay, we found the tail boom. Now the one main blade's gone. I do have a ton of flights on this helicopter. And this is my first crash with it, which kind of really sucks. But, it always sucks when you crash from something you didn't do. I guess I'm going to try to look for the other, I guess I don't even need to look for the blade. It's way out of here somewhere. <laughs>